Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the show. Now, <laughs> I knew it was going to be political after it happened. Congressman Al Larson, a Democrat or a Joseph Biden supporter, said, and I'm quoting him, this guy will be alive if the police officer defend themselves. First things first, you knucklehead. I want to explain this to people that still don't understand it after I've said it many, 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 many times. This guy in the letter would be alive today if he did not resist arrest. Oh, or we, or we'll go further than that. This guy will be alive today if he was not drinking and driving. Period. Now this rest of, uh, 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 Al Watson is black and he's a Democrat so that's two strikes. He has no clue whatsoever. I mean did this guy even look at the video? The two videos that came out after three videos came out, the guy was passed out. The, the police officer woke him up, asked him questions, and then they gave him a uh, DWI test. He failed the DWI test. They told him they're going to place him under the arrest, and this guy resisted arrest. Now, here's the thing I want to say nice and clear so y'all can understand. If this guy did not resist arrest, he would be alive today. Let me repeat that. If this guy did not Resist arrest. He would be alive. But no. So we got all that's going on. Then you have two knuckleheads vandalize Wendy's and caught fire, destroying Wendy's. These two knuckleheads have destroyed lives. And the people that are working there, their jobs, their paychecks. Great job. And great job, Al Larson. What a joke. <laughs>